Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, my name is Odds and we are... <laughs> I'm on the floor today. We're going to be discussing my summertime staples. These are things I think that are essential for the summer. Some of the stuff is stuff that I've been loving. And other stuff is just stuff that I think that you need if you're going to be outside or doing any sort of fun stuff this summer. This is going to be some necessary stuff. And I will give Casey the punch. Casey, you want to be in your video? Oh, look at the camera. Look at the camera. She's purring. She's not acting like she's having a good time, but she is. Let's start with the non-makeup stuff first, and then I'm gonna go into makeup at the end in case you're not interested in that. This is stuff I think that could work for everybody. Um, so yeah. Let me start off with one of my newer features to my, let's say my collection, but the newest features to my possession is this little fan. First off, it has a little bear face and little bear ears, so it looks like a little bear. The only problem is there's like a ridge for your nail. My nails are weak, so I find it really hard to open, but it comes out eventually. So it opens up like this and it charges, and then your little power button is right here. And you have two settings, so there's one that goes faster. <sighs> Guys, I haven't used this outside yet, but I'm in love with it. <laughs> I bought this because I'm going to Disney in two weeks and this is going to be like absolutely necessary for the summer heat. So I'm really excited to have this. It was like less than $15 off Amazon. So I will definitely link it down below if you're interested and it comes in a couple different colors. I just got happened to get the pink one. Another, let's say, essential, um, a insulated water bottle. Now, where I'm at, it's real, real hot. I was about to say real cold. Real hot, so you need some nice cold water. I don't drink ice water. I drink just, like, cold water that comes out of, like, a, like I have a Brita filter that I keep in the fridge. I don't drink it with ice. I just drink it just like that. But this will keep your water super cold. I have another one here. Um, but I'm recommending one that's like this, um, especially because if you're going to go anywhere, you can throw this in a bag. This fits in like those little side pockets of Funko backpacks, of the, the box lunch backpacks where they... Lounge fly. Lounge fly backpacks. I'm like, what am I thinking? What are they called? This fits in the side pocket of Loungefly backpacks, so you can just slide it right in there. Um, I tend to carry those around all the time, so this is going to be an essential for me at theme parks. At Disney, I tend to take this to most theme parks and most places on vacation, just because it's easy. It's metal um, and nice and insulated. But I also have like a Zach one from Target as well. This one is from Target, but anything that looks like this that's insulated is necessary. Let's talk swimsuits. So ladies, um, the best swimsuit that I have currently is this one. It is from In a Seashell that is Leanne Pinnock's um, swimsuit brand. The downside about this swimsuit is that you have to hand wash it. So I wash it in like a little basin just with um, detergent just like that. So I wash it that way, so that's kind of a pain because if you were to wash it and dry it, it would just deteriorate the swimsuit. Um, but I think these fit really well. They're really fl it's really flattering on, and I think you need a good swimsuit for the summer if you're going to go in pools or to the beach or do something. I'm really excited to wear this in a couple of weeks. So 
really looking forward to that. Summertime, you need a good sunscreen. I happen to recommend one that makes your skin look super glowy and super sparkly, which I love. This is the Copper Tone Glow. This one might be a little hard to find. You can find the spray version, and now they have a one with tanner in it. So I haven't tried either of those. I like the lotion version just because I like lotion sunscreens. I know that's pretty unpopular, but I like a lotion sunscreen versus like a spray. So this is the one that I would recommend because this is the one that I've tried. I also use Sunbum sunscreen, SPS 70, so that's also something. But if I want something a little shimmery, something a little pretty, go in with the SPF 30 Glow with Shimmer. Um, this was really popular a few, maybe last year, I think it kind of blew up on YouTube. So again, now they have different versions, but this is the one in particular I'm talking about. This has to be like, if you buy one thing based on this video for recommendations, it has to be this. This is really awesome. You could also, you, you can also use deodorant to do this, but This is the Mega Babe Thigh Rescue Anti-Friction Stick. Um, you put it in between your thighs. If you got big old thighs and you have to deal with chafing, um, then use this. It has aloe, pomegranate, and grapeseed oil. It's not a deodorant, so you can't use it as a deodorant, but it is um, free of aluminum, so that's really good because aluminum is really bad for you. It's an all antiperspirant, so I don't use antiperspirant, but it basically is like oils in a stick that you put between your legs and then it stops them from chafing. Um, really awesome. I had a mini size up until last week when I ran out of it, so I bought this. I use this for all of the shorts that I wear, so I'm nice and comfortable if I was to wear a dress, anything like that, I would definitely use this. Um, and I use it every single day. It's amazing. And then I want to give a shout out to some sandals um, because I think these are really awesome. These were discontinued, so they were limited edition. Um, I'm just going to briefly show them. I don't want to show them close up because they're a little dirty. But these were the Stony Clover Lane from Target. These were them. Um, I think they're really comfortable. They're just plastic sandals. They were like 10 bucks, but you can buy a pair that looks just like this and is the same exact quality at Target. So I'd recommend any of those because I have another pair that is like the exact same. So yeah. And we're going to do makeup now. So if you're not interested in that, bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, we have a few makeup products here. Let's start with one that's not really a makeup product. This is the e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm. This is my lip balm I put in my purse. This is what I'm going to be putting on right now. It has a small tint. I have the peach one, which is called Just Peachy. I wanted the mint one, which is just the regular clear one, but they didn't have it, so I went with the peach one. It has a lovely taste. I mean, I'm not eating it, but you know that when you can taste something on your lips, so. Um, you definitely need a lip balm in the summer, and this is a good all-around one for your, like, your purse. You can throw it in there and whatever, or your backpack. I use backpacks, not purses, but you know, it's what it is. Um, almost everything is drugstore except for one thing, which is like pretty popular to not be from the drugstore. So let's go in the order I do of application. So I'm gonna start off with an eyeshadow palette. This is the ColourPop Wannabe palette. I purchased this semi-recently, maybe about a month ago. And I just think this is absolutely perfect for the summer. You know, you've got some lighter shades. I can do one shadow looks. I can do some orangey yellow brown looks with this so this pretty much gives me all the summer looks that I want I've been using this almost exclusively um I have to like force myself to pick up other palettes to be honest because I do the same look every single day which is so out of character for me I used to only do different looks every single day with bright palettes 
bright different colors, but now I've just been using my yellow shadows as per usual. Have a face primer. This is the NYX Plump Right Back. My previous favorite was discontinued. It was the e.l.f. Mid Melt Primer. I still do have a backup of that that I'm going to use after this, but this is a plumping serum and primer. It's also a tacky, it's a tacky primer, so it helps your makeup really adhere. I feel like my skin looks really good with this, and it makes my makeup last a very long time. So the combo of this with the next product I'm going to talk about is, hi Casey, is fantastic, so I would definitely recommend this. This is a little pricey for NYX. I mean, not for NYX, but for the drugstore. It's a $17 primer, so NYX is really expensive now, but I think it's worth it, so I definitely would recommend that. Now, this has been a favorite since two or three summers ago when I tried it. I've gone through two of these before. This is my third one. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. The only complaint I have about this tinted moisturizer is that it doesn't have SPF in it. I think that would be really beneficial and they should make a version that has SPF in it. But as of right now, they don't have SPF in this. Um, I just think it provides like light to medium coverage. I think it looks really fresh. It's called Pretty Fresh, but I think it does look pretty fresh. <laughs> Um, and it's, it's nice because it's just a plastic squeezy tube bottle, um, and because it's not hard, the plastic's not too hard, I feel like it travels really well, so that's something to keep in mind. I have another foundation I really like by LYS, but the cap broke, because it's like hard plastic, and a glass bottle, and it happened to break upon travel, so... I'd recommend this. It's really good to travel with. I mean, I'm t basically telling you the packaging is really cheap, um, but it gets the job done. And I think it's like ten to twelve dollars somewhere around there, and it lasts you a very long time. You get one point four five fluid ounces or forty three milliliters, so pretty large amount. And you only need like a pump and a half is what I use. And I apply this with a brush and a sponge, and it looks great both ways. I'm going to talk about a newer little blush duo here. This is an e.l.f. blush duo. I got this maybe like a year ago, and I never used it. And I was like, you know, I think I have a peachy blush. Like a nice muted peachy blush. I'm going to use that. Y'all. This looks so good. If I don't feel like putting on liquid blush, this is what I use and I mix it with the shimmery shade here um, because it's too dark to use as not as highlighter on my skin but it is a lovely like shimmery blush but yeah that's the blush that's the shimmery shade and I use that as a as a topper it's gorgeous and if I mix it together it looks like that so awesome this is spiced apple so it's gonna be good for the fall too but it's a nice like peachy blush and I love it a lot it's very shimmery um, if you mix them together so I definitely would recommend that now I have blush on my hand and on my fingers and the last thing I'm going to talk about, which is very popular for many reasons, is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have the Ultra Glow. I like the Ultra Glow because it makes you ultra glowy, and that is my thing. And I think for summer, I mean, you're going to sweat, so you're going to be ultra glowy to begin with. But um, I really like this. I'm almost out of it, so I will be using other setting spray this summer. So we'll see how that lasts. But this is what I'm using right now um, until like two days from now when I run out of it. So not much I can really say about Urban Decay All Nighter that we don't already know. It lasts really well. I think it's pretty waterproof too. And um, yeah, it's just, just great. I would recommend it. 
Um, you don't need me to tell you that it's really great, but it is really great, and I think it's an essential. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your summer staples down below, what you're looking forward to doing in the summer with the rest of the summer that we have. It is July. <laughs> it is mid-July right now. <laughs> so we have like a month left. I now have a full-time job, so summer is like until Labor Day versus like if you're going back to school, then it feels like fall, which is in like August. So you might not have a lot left, but let me know what you're loving and what you would recommend. I would always love to hear your suggestions. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on Wednesday with a new video. Bye!